Hi, I'm Joe Dante from Trailers from Hell. We're going to take a little trip today on a runaway rail car to the totalitarian kingdom of Gudavia. You may not have heard of Gudavia because it's one of those mythical countries that people see in movies that usually have Murray Chevalier singing in them. Uh, this one doesn't. This is a, this is a, a, a much darker version of that, and uh, it stars Paul Douglas, who I always liked when I was a kid because he reminded me of my grandfather, and Leslie Phillips, a uh, British comedian who um, specialized basically in playing twitty, silly-ass Englishmen, and who uh, has had an incredibly long career and is actually um, still active today. <laughs> Wait a minute. They all look the same. The man looked different. Are you sure you know what you're talking about? Yes. Yes. They, they, they look like, you know, ordinary men, but without minds. Soulless. I seem to be the only fan of this rather odd combination of horror, science fiction, political thriller, and comedy, which was the first 16mm print I ever bought. I still have it, which is helpful since it's never been on DVD. American journalist Paul Douglas and his English photographer pal Leslie Phillips find themselves stranded in a mythical Eastern Bloc country called Gadavia. What initially seems like a comic opera society is actually held in the grip of fear by a literal goon squad of mental defectives created by a Nazi-like scientist whose gamma ray experiments can transform subjects into geniuses or, more often, mindless robots. Douglas and Phillips make an amusing duo that sometimes recalls Basil Radford and Norton Wayne in The Lady Vanishes. An uncredited Robert Aldrich provided the story for a version of this that was to be made in 1951 with John Garfield, but the picture didn't actually shoot until four years later as one of the last Warwick productions from producers Irving Allen and a pre-007 Cuppy Broccoli. The movie has a pedigree. The music score by easy listening King George Malacrino is catchy, and the attractive Austrian location photography is by Oscar winner Ted Moore. Another Oscar winner, art director John Box, went on to work with David Lean. He mustn't leave tonight. He knows. I'm sure he knows. We are started and we must at least try. Too late to turn back now. They'll kill you. Then they'll kill me. Sooner or later they would have done that anyway. You asked me about the gamma ray, Mr. Wilson. Before your mind dies, you will experience all the extremes of heat. It will not be pleasant, Mr. Wilson. 180 degrees. Many seem to find its mix of genres off-putting, and even disturbing, but I've always liked it, and in fact, it's probably influenced my own work in ways that continue to perplex studio executives. Director John Gilling began as an assistant director on Todd Slaughter movies and went on to write and direct several Hammer films, as well as one of the best Burke and Hare movies, The Flesh and the Fiends. But he never made another film as offbeat as The Gamma Beat. Check it out, if you can find it.